Hello and welcome back. Today is Tuesday, May 1st, and this is episode 41 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where we eat angry pills and we get shot out of the mouths of giant whales. Just like Jonas and um, Pinocchio. Um, wait a minute. Are you sure these are angry pills and not some other kind of pills that you've been eating? <laughs> Dude, it was awesome, right? So so there's this radioactive ginseng being shot out of clouds, and there's like these super pigs, and, and there's like... And there was, like, unicorns and magical elves and female new tube listeners. Dude, I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm Tobin Kazire. Uh, and I'm Yuzo Watsonabe. This week, we are talking about Eats Chowdown on the Xbox 360 and SNK vs. Capcom Cardfighters on the DS. Are you gone? We did that already. All uh, right. <laughs> Yo, we're playing! Sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, Pinball FX for the 360, as well as Lord of the Rings Online, Shadows of Angmar, sort of. Mm, kind of. Talk about that later. So, new releases include the Xbox 360 Elite, Elite. Ultra Mega Extreme Super, Super Ultimate, yes. signed by Bill Gates Edition. <laughs> yes! Um, Spider Man 3, Heat Seeker, and some Xbox Live Arcade and Wii Virtual Console games. And as always, we'll finish up with some culture and community section, but let's get started with Eat. Eats chat on the 360. Where it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 what, it's, what, what, chow right. <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, the wine is so much better this week. Uh, so oh, new wine. We've learned our lesson. We have to drink faster. That we got to drink more. So, what so is it, we six let our, weeks, right? Our, yeah, <laughs> apparently. So our last box of box of wine went bad on us. So we got to yeah. chug. And we had like a bottle left. So we'll be drinking extra much and uh, getting DUIs. Just for you guys. Just for you guys. Sure, let's get started with each chow down on the 360, uh, I guess is mine. So, um, it's an Xbox Live Arcade game. Yep. It is uh, essentially what we talked about before. It is a... God damn it. Essentially. <laughs> does it we got to do the role. Yeah, wait, so what does, are the roles? Does it have <laughs> achievements? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> if I have essentially, then you have to have something else. I don't say anything. When you say something rude. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> when you say taking a shit on something, how about that? Okay. Or raping mothers. All right. Uh, so each That's chow- just not fair. I'll be destroyed. <laughs> All right, so Eats Chowdown it is a game just like exactly what we talked about. It's like Lemmings, an incredible machine put together. Yep. And I got to say, I actually really liked it. I love it. Oh, dude, so like what, like my favorite parts of the game so far is like I've gone about maybe three quor- uh, a quarter of the way to half half of the way through. Yep. But it gets getting harder. There's a lot of things you got to do, and you kind of start out with your Eats in the beginning, and he's just going, and you got to feed him different pills. you yep. got to make him go through these different interactive environments. I mean, like, how far are you? Like uh, About that about that far. Okay. I think maybe like... A little bit more than the a third, third world. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, so, so I went and I downloaded the shareware game first. This is before PC. it even came out. Yeah, yeah. Like, on the PC because mm-hmm. it's, there's a shareware game for the PC that lets you play for an hour. It's good, which is awesome. It's yeah. a really cool way. Actually, so, I think it stops you after the eighth, eighth round, though. Okay, or something like that. But yeah. Did it so, take you an hour to finish the first game? No. <laughs> well, I played long enough that I'm like, I don't want to ruin it for myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like, I played like the first three or four worlds. I'm like, this is really great. Yeah, it took you an hour. So it... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so yeah, you really liked it. I loved it, and mm-hmm. I went and I got on Xbox Live, and they actually, they really kind of tuned it for the controls well. You know, I think you're right, because like, you know... I was afraid of that. Well, because the thing is, when you were playing the shareware version, you can use the mouse, and you can click on stuff, and you can make things happen with the mouse, yeah. so it's a lot easier to, to scroll around. But with the Xbox Live, every whale that you do, that you have to swallow us. Uh, it's assigned a different button. Right. And I haven't actually seen a point where you run out of buttons. Mm, it seems like you don't really get so do to that you, point. Do you think, like, there's in the PC game, they had more things and they kind of tweak the puzzles a bit it so you can only be. have four interactive elements? It so could that's be. That's pretty interesting. Um, so we'll throw up the video, too. Yeah, we'll throw up the video. So the, the cool thing about this game is is it's you can play it on several different levels. Like, did you mm. did you see that there were achievements for finishing levels with shit yes. left in your toolbox? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, so let me get... So I, I can understand it. Like, certain levels had, like, three items, four items that you could use. Like, different whales, different ginseng things. I got one achievement where I left one thing, but I couldn't figure out any of the puzzles to leave two things in my, uh, my inventory. I got a couple where I left three. Dude. So, you gotta tell me which ones Alright, so, so just to step back a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're a guy, you're trying to get to the end of the level, you're and, eat, and yeah. these, these props. So it's like, yeah. you, can, you can put a whale on the level, which means that when he gets to the whale, you can push a button, he'll suck you in mm-hmm. and shoot you up farther. Yeah, uh, there's the ginseng, uh, radioactive ginseng shooter, which yeah. you throw, and then you make the eat angry. When the eat is angry, he'll run faster as well as jump further. Yeah. And then there's the different pills. Right, so, so there's these props, and you can yeah. put them in the level, but it's not like, because last week we were talking about it, we're like, maybe you just put all the shit down and let it run. Mm. No. No, no, no. So no, no, you no, put no, the stuff no, down all. and then you have to do stuff. Like when it gets near a well, you push the button that yep. makes it suck it in. Exactly. Um, so then there, there was there was a couple levels where 
you can use props in clever different ways. Like I had this, hmm. I had this one where you can put all these props in. You can walk all the way up around the level and do all this <laughs> stuff. But I found out that if you put a whale like down over here on the right side, he'd jump into it. and You could shoot him, and you'd shoot him right to the end. Oh, nice! So and then you left the, th- the three. You left there. three oh, things. See, gotcha. So there's these achievements where if you lose, if you use less of the props that they give uh-huh. you, you actually get achievements for that. So. So you can cool. play it straight, where you can say, "Let's figure out the way that you're supposed to do this," where you use yeah. all the props and you figure mm-hmm. out the correct answer. And, and some of them get pretty hard too. Yeah. That's the thing too, because like you have to you have to figure out placement, you have to figure out timing, which yeah. is the other part. Because you, the guy walks, and you can't control directly the eat directly, and he's going to be walking normally. You feed him pills to go faster. You feed him pills to go slower. You feed him pills to jump, not jump. Yeah, you he'll, ju- he'll jump right well, off the wall. Yeah, exactly. And then you're done, and you have to start over. But you can try as many times as you want. So mm-hmm. it's very uh, what do you call it? Very painless of a game. Yeah, you know, um, you I have, like that. Yeah. He would start walking. I'm like, oh, I fucked this up. Like, yeah. I'm, he's obviously gonna walk off the edge, and you pull the trigger, and yeah. it's like, Bwamp. oh, you know what I used to do? So when I when I act, at, after a point, I started playing the game. I'm like, oh, let me just see what he does. Yes. And I start the game, and he goes, and he jumps off. And I'm like, oh, let me yeah. go way over there. <laughs> it's, it's really like fun like error. that. It's just yeah. kind of, you kick it off, and you're like, oh, I wonder what happens this time. So it's just kind of like adding little things to a machine and be like, I wonder what happens. Exactly. And you know, that's exactly how Incredible Machine was. Yeah. Now, if, um, I don't know, like some of you guys, this is an old-ass game from Sierra slash Dynamics. I don't remember. But you use physics, and you do all these things to solve a puzzle, put a ball on something like that. And this is kind of the same concept. Yeah. And I haven't seen another game like this in a long time. I played that at a friend's house, so I really didn't mm. play it very much. But I remember thinking it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely. I, it's really fun, you know. It's just it, it appeals to the monkey in me because I'm just like you're like, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like kind of th- th- throwing shit in there. So it's just like I was having a lot of fun with fucking nice. with the world, where it's yeah, like yeah. I would go for the correct solution, but sometimes I'm just like, dude, I bet I could totally bounce him off that wall. And you're oh, just like, wow, you know, See, it's like kind of. <laughs> That's hilarious because the way I was looking, I'm like, how do I make my score the highest? You know what I mean? Like, how do I get under par? I'd be like, all oh, making everything efficient. Like, yeah. oh, let me tweak this a little bit over here and shoot. Oh, he goes there a little faster. Let me place the pill a little yeah, closer. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, so, I mean, it Meanwhile, kinda... I'm like flinging poo at it. <laughs> it's like, get out of here. <laughs> I'm like breaking it. You know, that pretty much like gets our play style. Yeah, right exactly. Right there. Uh, but hey, let's talk about the mini game. Did you play the mini game? I did not. So, dude, I love the mini game. It oh, has cool. that Geometry Wars appeal. Nice. So, here's the thing uh, you start with eats in the middle of the. It's a very, very simple game. Yeah. You have the eat in the middle and then these various things come from the different sides of the screen and they have button combinations. Mm-hmm. So it starts out real simple where it's just two different buttons like XY. Yeah. So what you have to do is hit XY and then a trigger. And then okay. you blow it up. Okay. And then, you know, they start coming a little real slow at first, you know, no big deal, and then they start coming like crazy. Mm. And they start going fast. If they touch you, then you die. And you have like three lives and you get more points and you okay. get points like that, right? You get combos too where if you hit XY and there's nothing there, you lose the combo. Ah. But then it gets like you get the things with three letters. These little stars that come by yeah. that have three, and then you get these tanks with four combinations. Whoa. It just keeps on coming. Yeah. And I'm the, you know, it's got that thing where I'm like, oh, I just got to be able to get to that one pass level, one yeah. next level, and uh, it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. I'll totally yeah. check that out when I get home. Yeah, it's, like, it's like those old like typing tutor games. Exactly. Where it's like, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let it go. Oh, hey, SDF, shit. Oh, no, it's even better. It's like typing of the dead. Like, oh, zombie. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, zombie. A oh, cup. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then it just like, bleh, and it dies. <laughs> Do I love that game? Yeah, that's awesome. All right, cool. So, so yeah, yeah, give that a try. Did you try the multiplayer at all? Because I, uh, I really that. want to check it out. Um, so we should actually do that. Yeah, sometime maybe report back. Yeah, I, I was actually I was looking at my user list, my friends list, and it's like there's a whole bunch of yeah. YouTubers online. Nobody was playing the game. It's like <laughs> you guys gotta try it. It's great. I mean, it's ten bucks. It's ten bucks. Yeah, but you know there's actually a lot of people on there that, that are like, Pff, yeah, it's like I know you guys like it, and because I know you like it, I know I'm not gonna like it. Yeah. So you know it's one of those things where um, yeah, it's, I think it's gonna like be certain. Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon, Pokemon sucks. sucks. All right. But yeah, well, that's enough of that. But each alienate, out, alienate enough people. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, but each shout out, it's uh, 10 bucks, 800 points. Yeah. Uh, what would you say? I would say thumbs up. Thumbs up. No question. No question um, at all. Five I, bucks would be better? Yeah. Wouldn't pay 15? No. 10 bucks is great. I won't pay for 15 for anything. Not even billiards? It could be like billiards <laughs> with a free blow job, and I'm not paying $15. Drink! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, billiards oh. with Yuzo's mom giving me a blowjob. Oh, no, hey, <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> okay, Eats Chowdown. That is a two thumbs up. And uh, next game up is your favorite. Oh, man. Are you okay? Versus Sonic Capcom Boom. Fighters <laughs> DS. So the oh, funny boy. thing is, Yuzo and I were talking before he plays. He's like, I bet you won't play longer than I did. <laughs> I was like, how bad can it be? Oh. It's, oh, dude. It's the opposite of what I want in a game. Okay, like, okay, like, how long did you play it? I played it for <laughs> about half an hour. <laughs> okay, because I played, like, maybe an hour, and it hurt. <laughs> it hurt so bad. There was nothing good about this game. <laughs> oh, man. The story was terrible. It was, it was 
the dialogue? The translation was just off. Like, nothing yeah. made any sense. It was like somebody took the Japanese and put it in, the, like, Google, <laughs> Google to translate. translate it. Exactly, the Babelfish. But, I mean, the plots <sighs> are relevant. It's like you're a kid, you're yeah. in some building, a machine goes crazy, and you have to fight your way to the top of the building. And, like, you can't even walk around. It's not even like we're Pokemon where you're, like, looking top down, and you can, like, go and then fight battles. Nope. You look at a floor, and you see three guys. You can pick different One. guys, and yep. you fight them. And it's like, okay. I mean, seriously, and the, the plot is so asinine that you don't even <laughs> think it's funny, because this robot it's like, I am a crazy robot. I'm going to take over the world with my card battles. What? <laughs> the hey, dude. fuck does that mean? This is a magical SNK Capcom land, dude. God, Everything what? gets resolved with card battles. Yeah, so you don't need a Supreme Court. <laughs> Who needs it? No arbitration. You don't need the Punisher. <laughs> Not at all. You cards. Uh, but yeah, I just... So look, look, look. I actually like card games. Okay. So, so um, you're a different point of view. I think card so, games are stupid. Well, here's the thing. So I actually like I like Yu-Gi-Oh to okay. an extent. I can play it for a little while. I like yeah. Magic Online, uh, yeah. Magic Gathering Online a lot. I don't like playing in, in person because you know why. Yeah. Um, but I hated this game. Okay. It's very simplistic. It's very stupid. The, the, the none of the characters got me. It's just it's dumb. So what you know sucks what I mean? about the card mechanics? The, uh, the card mechanics about it, I think it's really simplistic. I mean, you have the same thing where you have health on each side. Yeah. And then you you do battles and you have defenses. But the way they did it, they it just felt really uh, how do you say it? like cheap. Yeah. Uh, there was there was kind of depth, but not really. Yeah. Uh, you have these different things. The interface was really bad. Yeah. Um, and the story was bad. I mean, so basically, every round you you get a, one new card out of your deck, mm-hmm. and then you can spend points to put it up in the active row, and then you can either attack with it or hold it back to let it defend. The oh my God! You <laughs> fell asleep on me. You <laughs> fell the first time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, that's what I, that's what I felt playing it. I was like. Oh my god, this is so fucking tedious. Like, yeah. There's nothing there's nothing fun about this. There's no exploration, there's no, no there's no discovery, there's no I mean, and it didn't even feel like if I played it a long time I'd get that much better. Because yeah. you'd get a new card and you're like, well, I either ha- either have enough points to put it up there or I don't. Yeah. And I So so what get you know, gets like if I want to compare it to Magic the Gathering, at least with Magic the Gathering, they kind of have themes. Yeah. You know, that's what I really like about it. Like you get like a goblin red deck. And you kind of have, like, goblins. You have goblin kings, which affect the king. Mm. And, like, you know what they did was they took all the different Capcom and SNK characters, assigned them cards, and... Shuffled and it. That's it. Shuffled it. Yep. So it's like, I have Blanca, and I have Chun-Li, and, like, they... I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what they do. And their <laughs> skills didn't really relate to what they do in the no. video game. It and wasn't... I, I think that might have been the big part of it. There's no overreaching uh, theme around the whole game except for Capcom S and K, and they're freaking fighting games. Right, right. So they could have basically sense. made up characters, and it would have been just as fun Ex- exactly. because it was relevant. And I don't even know the S and K characters that much. I mean, no. do you play like any of the 2000? Uh, was it S- King of Fighters series? Really. Or yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I recognize Blanca and like M Bison, but that's yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, so anyhow, it's a, it's a really terrible game. I think I think if you're gonna like a, a card game, do Yu Gi Oh uh, for the for the console. And um, since you hate card games, don't try Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah. So. Or I mean, if you like card games, you know, maybe get Pokemon. I mean, apparently mm. people like that too. I mean, just I'm just, just don't play this game <laughs> for any reason. Uh, you, I would rather play the Final Fantasy Chocobo Tale card game than this game. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Mm-hmm. Anything, I would <laughs> rather accidentally sit on one of my nuts than play this game. <laughs> Ow! That hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right. Accidentally, like, zip up your fly. Yeah, no. Yeah, Let's no. not go there. All right, moving okay, on. Okay, moving on. That is two thumbs down. Pinball FX. This is another Xbox Live Arcade game. We kind of featured, uh, previewed it last week. It is pinball, and it is garbage! Yeah. And I'm a pinball freak. I love pinball, yeah. and this game... I have, Actually, no video pinball game has been fun, except for maybe... Uh, I like kind of like Sonic Spinball. Mm. That was kind of fun. And Metroid Pinball. That's actually pretty fun. Well, so um, what I don't understand is is it, it seems like people that are actually good at pinball like you, yeah. the whole essence of what's fun about it comes down to the body language, the French, mm, yes. as, as yeah, you yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The English. The English. French. Yeah, okay. What the fuck am I talking <laughs> I about? Know. French um, kissing? I don't know. So, um, it's the English, yeah. Yes. yes. You put, I mean, you're, you're, you're kind of, you're, you're playing within the bounds of tilt, and you're kind of, yeah. you know, like making the machine. Exactly. So in this, you can basically hit, was it the shoulder buttons, yeah, I think? So, for, yeah. And it's just like, it just kind of went... Yeah, you know, it just kind of jiggled it, and it's like you can't. You know, when you're it really had, good at it, you need to get the perfect angle to pop exactly, the ball back yeah, where yeah, it needs yeah, yeah, to go. Yeah. But, you don't get that. But so those games that you said are good. Did they kind of have a better way of doing the no, English? They were just um, they were less pinball-y. 
You know what I mean? Like okay, with the Metroid yeah. pinball, it's like all of a sudden, like there'd be a mode where all these Metroids will pop out yeah. and you'd shoot them. So this one tried so, to be straight up pinball. It was straight up pinball. Yeah. There's no. It, it even took like some of the um, concepts you get in pinball, like um, you know, double, you know, multi ball mode and all this other random stuff that you see in any other pinball game. But the themes they chose are stupid. Yeah. Like what was what was the one like like high speed racer was the one that you get to play in the trial? Yeah. Yawn. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, on, it's a valiant effort with the physics. You know, they were really trying mm. to recreate what it's like inside a pinball machine. But the but physics were weren't very good. I would say. Really? Like I like when I was playing the game, it didn't feel right to me because number one, I think that this board was too short. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, um, I mean, like the physics inside of it looked like they spent a lot of time on the ball and the bouncing and whatever. Mm. But I can see, but it also didn't feel right. I mean, yeah, because because I oh shoot it and it would just like shoot to the top of the 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 the, the, um, the, mm. the level and like. In like point oh two seconds. Yeah, that's true. Because um, the a ball actually, you get yeah, feel. you can see it, and you can yeah. kind of feel it come down. You can prepare, and you can do all that yeah. stuff. So anyhow, I mean, I don't want to talk too much about it because it's a nah, crap it's, game. It's not good. Yeah, and there's much better uh, electronic versions of pinball out there. Yep. It's like, have you heard of Adama? No. It's that <laughs> Captain Adama? No, but close. Uh, you fight the Cylons. It's like it's Adama or something like that. But it's like I think it was a DS game or a GameCube game. Yeah. And it's a pinball slash RTS what? slash rhythm game or something. What? Like that. <laughs> So, so get that, like, the screen is, like, this huge rock, and then you have a bunch of guys pushing it, so it's almost like a pinball game, but then you dr- it's the weirdest game ever. Is this an arcade game? No, I think it's either DS or GameCube. It's one of the... I, I didn't we, play we it, but I just heard about, it. Oh, yeah, we got to look through it. Man. <laughs> it's, like, the weirdest remember game. Remember way, yeah. way back in the day, there was this Miss Pac-Man, where... Uh, ba- pac- ba- baby Pac-Man. Yeah, ba- I know baby exactly. Pac-Man. Yeah, baby yeah Pac-Man. it's like, if you get the pinball in a certain spot, it goes up to yep. the screen, and all of a sudden, you're playing fucking Pac-Man. Yeah. And because like the screen would be on top, yeah. And playing. The pinball was like this. Big. Yeah, it was <laughs> weird. Tiny. I remember yeah, playing that when I was a, I was a shorty. Yeah, back in, back the, in day. the day. <laughs> <laughs> you old man, you. Yeah. What's your favorite pinball game? Uh, I don't really have one. You don't have one? No. Yeah. Mm, it's too bad. Yeah. Attack from Mars, dude, all the way. Nice. Is that one of the ones we have here at work? No. Oh, unfortunately. Too bad. No, we have like Twilight Zone, Adam's Family. We have mm. the best, some of the good ones, but not, not the more uh, modern ones. But anyhow, let's talk about hey, the next game. Hey, let's talk about Lord of the Rings Online. Yeah. Let's Wait, talk about playing uh, it. Oh, oh, oh. So oh. Lord of the Rings Online has this cool... Oh. Well, it has this shitty feature. <laughs> let me let me restate. Oh, it's a great feature. If yeah, it's a good idea. So good idea. Buddy, give, buddy keys. If somebody buys the game, you can get a buddy key for ten days. For ten days, which basically means you give the key to one of your buddies, they get to play the game for free for ten days. Except if you go and read their fucking fact, they're like, "Yeah, just borrow the discs from your buddy, yeah. and install it, and you can use the buddy key." It's like oh. never mind the fact that as time hmm. goes on, more and more people meet people online that are friends that are remote. Like yeah. Like how fucking hard Diego, would it be like to I put, would love to play with them. How fucking hard would it be to put a BitTorrent? It would cost them nothing, yes. and you just put the client out there and just let people download the client, try the game for ten days. If they like it, they'll buy it. You're you're just flushing money down the toilet. I mean, most online um, so MMOs do this. Yeah. Like World of Warcraft, you can download the client. Uh, like most of the ones, you can download the client. So user got his hands so on the buddy key. Uh, let me get this straight. So like, thank you very much. The noob too. Like I, I went to the the thing saying, hey man, somebody can somebody hook us up because it's like Tobin and I want to play this game. And somebody on the forums was kind enough to give us a buddy key. So thank you much, Wingo. Wingo. Uh, Wingo. He's the guy that kicked ass at uh, which game? Oh, was that's it? right. He came. He, out of, he came out of nowhere. Oh, I don't forget. know if he won. He didn't win. No, he was like he was top of Crackdown. That's right. He was battling Omega the Crackdown came action. Out, yeah. yeah. But Wingo, thanks a lot. I mean, you're awesome. He gave me the key. Yep. <laughs> I went, oh, yeah, dude, I'll go get the key. Okay, I went to, like, Turbine Sign. I said, let me register. It's like, you are validated for a 10-day key. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, now what? <laughs> it's like, I'm going to so play the game. We don't know where Wingo lives because you don't know where most people online live. He's you in go, the U.S. somewhere. We went and downloaded the client. Well, I was, so we went and looked. For, I'm like, okay, well, let me just find because I can't get the client. The client's not available on the website. I'm like, all right, fine. Let me go to the torrent and see what's out there. It's like, oh, somebody had the torrent up there. And uh, we downloaded it, and what happened? It's the European torrent. Yes. And guess what? The European owner of the accounts and the American one are two different companies. Yep. You have to go through Codemasters.com <laughs> for the, the European fuck is version. Codemasters.com. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you download, for so the, the US. European bits are actually oh. different. So if you download the European torrent, there's no American torrent. No. You get it and you you enter your friend key and it's just like no. No, no, no. The, be- the best part of it, you install it and I'm like, okay, oh, cool, I want to play it. And then you log in. It's like, all right, I'm about to play. Oh, I need a patch. Oh, there's four thousand nine hundred ninety nine files. Yeah. And it took me like three hours. Yeah. When oh, we- wait. Hey, if we have any European <laughs> listeners, yeah. <laughs> if you have any European <laughs> listeners that are buying Lord of the Rings online, email us at feedback at noobtube.com. Yeah, we'll give you a shout out. We'll give you some newbies. Hell yeah. 
um, and uh, give us your friend keys because we want to review the yeah. goddamn game. We want to like do a service. It. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hook us up with a friend key. But anyway, um, if you got if you get a friend key from somebody, you're fucked unless you can actually borrow the game discs it's from them. It's just so it's stupid. Dumb. I mean, come on, fix it, guys. Turbine, you got to get on the ball. But thanks yeah. a lot, Wingo. You rock. I'm sorry. I think the the ten days are going to be up in ten days. Yeah, so we're screwed. Yeah, we're screwed. Show. Uh, we That's go to it the for next games we played yeah. or didn't play. Didn't play for the most part. New releases. <laughs> Xbox. 360 Elite. <laughs> Woo! Elite! It's Xbox 360 Elite. It's the black Xbox 360. What's it got? It's got HDMI. What's else it got? It's got 120 gig hard drive. What else it got? It's got... I don't know. What's it? It's black. <laughs> it's, got, it's black. It's black. It's got... What That's else it's it. got? That's all it's got. Does it got Wi-Fi? Uh, no. Oh. Wait, does, does it, it got a built- quieter hard drive? No. Ooh. Does it have built-in uh, HD DVD? D- no. No. Does it, oh, did it get rid of all the problems from the first run? No. Oh. Shoot. Does it have achievements? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit. my bad. Um, <clears throat> so uh, after that's pretty much the summary. Xbox 60 Elite. 470? It is four seventy nine. Uh, if you guys, so here's our recommendation, right? If you guys already have a three sixty, you don't need it. Not at all. Not at all. Don't bother. If you don't have a three sixty, but you want one, get this one because if you wanted to get the old three sixty and you want to get the hundred twenty gig hard drive. You'd be spending four hundred plus one eighty, so five eighty. But I'd say if you're a user like me and mm-hmm. you have no intention on ever filling your hard drive, hmm. then you don't really need it. Like even if so I just have save eighty six, bucks, yeah. But I don't know because I mean the main thing that I would see is like you'd be buying it for the you spend spending eighty more bucks yeah. for the expansion capability of HDMI, which however minor that is, I don't know. That, yeah. But in the hundred twenty gig hard drive versus sixty versus twenty. Isn't it come is it, 20? Oh shit! Yeah, so it's twenty. So it's almost like six times the amount of hard drive space. And regardless, yeah, I mean, at some point, maybe you might want more demos. You might have bigger downloadable content. It's just kind of like fitting for the future. But if, if you, you really don't think yeah. you're going to use it, if you think you're going to use it, maybe. But I mean, I really, I if I'm I fine with yeah, if I didn't have an Xbox, I still wouldn't buy the Elite because I know hmm. for a fact that I'm never going to use this as. So what they're gearing this up for is yeah. they're going to they want to sell you TV shows and mm-hmm. movies and, and all this huge. other stuff. And they're HD big. HD movies are huge. Right. So if you think that. This this is going to be your home media solution, sure. Yes. But mm-hmm. I know this will never, ever, ever be my home media solution. So you really don't think... So if they do, do get to a point where um, they have HD movies for download or subscription or something like that, you'll never watch one? I don't think so. Even if it was like two bucks? Maybe. Think about it. Think about it. I mean, the thing is, is that... The, maybe. I don't know. I mean, th- like, say they came out with like all three Lord of the Rings... Yeah, you can watch them for two dollars each. But I'd be watching them. See, here's the thing: is I put my 360 in my office, oh, so I mean, I'm not really going to so yeah, kick okay, well. back and watch a movie in my, you know, whatever. Really, you play all everything on, at, on oh, there. Yeah. You don't play on your TV. You're well, having a new TV. Uh, I play everything else on my TV. But the oh, thing really? is, the 360, like a lot of times, we'll do chat, oh, and I can shut my yeah, office door yeah, so I don't see. keep my girlfriend away. So I should do that. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, but actually, yeah. you know, honestly, that's not true though, because the thing is, is I'm talking about like I wouldn't watch a movie in there. It's like, what do you think I do every night? I Freaking torrent TV shows, and I sit in my office and you I. Watch them in your TV. Oh yeah, I don't watch them on my TV. I watch them in my office because I like my office. My office that's is hilarious. my space. I'll just like. So do you there. like watch it on your main one? Do you have like a second screen? I just watch it on my monitor. That's hilarious. Yeah. I can't I watch do that. I can't because like I sit on my chair and I'm like, oh, you know, I can't I just can't get. I comfy. got a comfy chair. Oh uh, yeah, so that's I gotta get a comfy chair. That's my yeah. problem. But yeah, so Xbox 360. Um, what the fuck are we black. talking about? If you really like the color, you know, you want to do it. If you want the hard drive size, personally, I know if it was me, I would do it just for the fact that there might be some occasion at, at some point. Later on down the line, where I know I will want to download one HD movie, the moment I download one HD movie that's like eight gigs, I'm yeah. screwed because there's only eleven gigs free on the twenty gig. It's true. So that's the way yep. I see it. So if you uh, if you, if you think you're ever going to use any of the HD media, it might be a good choice for you. Um, mm-hmm. HDMI, honestly, like the component out that it comes with is fantastic. And I use um, VGA. And VGA, and I get that, 1080p I mean, on that, and it's yeah, actually no so, problem. So. Sh- you know, <laughs> Some people might want it. Who knows? Yeah. But Xbox it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's I yeah. mean, it's great. It's like they cut uh, they cut some money off the price. It's a nice new box. Yeah. Whatever. What I want. So the next for my upgrade solution. What I want to wait for. Like I said before, included HD DVD, included Wi Fi. Yep. But what I really want is them to go to the sixty five nanometer process, mm. so that it's uh, like less less hot. And, and the fan. Put a, new, put a new drive in. And it. the new drive. Because the drive, drive is, is freaking loud. Put a game in. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. So uh, that is that for you. And it came out yesterday yep. on Monday. Sunday. All righty. So uh, Xbox Live, a couple of games coming out. Three games. Three I think. games coming out. Uh, centipede and Millipede. That is uh, centipede, centipede and Millipede are old classic arcade games. You used to play with a little, uh, what is it, trackball? Yeah. And you're a little snake that yep. shoots little 
lions and you kill millipedes that come down and they turn into mushrooms. Yep. And it's actually kind of psychedelic as far as the game goes. And uh, the difference between centipede and millipede, centipedes have a hundred legs and millipedes have a thousand legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, so millipede, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> millipede uh, has fancier shrooms. They're a little pointy mm. as opposed to round and like, you know, dildo-ish like. Yes. Um, and you get a little bit more monsters, but for the most part, I can't imagine playing these games on a 360 controller. No. Um, sorry. I think it's going to suck, actually. Yet again, I mean, I think you can pretty much say now, you and I are pretty much burnt out on the retro games. Yeah. There aren't many that I'd be willing to play. What, God, what game the, are you the one, the, Well, the arcade games that I really, really loved would require specialized controllers. Like, if You're somebody right. comes Star out Wars. with a Star Wars... 720. Or, I love uh, 720. Yeah, 720 would be good. Um, what else do I used to love? Pac-Land I, mean, I would like. That was one of my I favorite I ones. That one. I mean, the thing is, is the games that I really like in the arcade now are yeah. the gun ones. Oh, interesting. So I maybe think someday about that. if like they Police Trainer or Virtual Virtual Cop. Yeah, well, I mean, Time uh, Crisis. Time Crisis is that's my boy. Time Crisis. I've beaten every single one of them. Did hey? Did the Xbox ever have a gun? The PS2 was the only one. Really? PS2 had the uh, the gun for Time Crisis 2. Yeah. Well, PS1 also had it, but I'm just wondering if the, X- the Xbox never had a gun. I don't think it did. Wow, I, I didn't even realize did. that. Interesting. But uh, yeah, so if they come out with some shooters, I mean, shit, I'll I'll play all those. I love mm. love love shooting games. But pretty much these old school arcade games, I'm never gonna buy them. Yeah, I can't think of very many that I would buy, and they'd have to be five bucks or less. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, centipede millipede, eh. eh. And then we'll, the we'll third one is Settlers of Catan. Yeah. So which, you got to tell me about. So so this is a board game. Uh, it's, it's a, a very really classic really board popular game. among super nerds. Yeah, it's like, a very geeky. Uh, what is it like a D and D playing slash you know um, those type of people. It's yeah, nothing like that though. The game. Yeah. So the game is a resource gathering game. Um, it's different every time. So the board is just like a bunch. How is is the board a bunch of hexes? Like yeah. I was looking at it, and they yep. had different colors and like yep. what's the um, and it's laid out randomly. So you shuffle the tiles and oh. then you lay them out in a spiral. Uh-huh. So every game it's different, and what you're doing is you're laying oh. out like fields and forests mm-hmm. and uh, uh, rock and whatever. So it's a world. It becomes a world. Sure. And then you basically put down um, towns and roads, and you every person in the <laughs> game is kind of building a network of of, uh, of towns and roads, and you have to build like to build another town. You have to mm-hmm. build a road between them, and you get awards for having the longest unbroken road. You get awards oh. for having these other so things. You, so do you get like, like a bunch of different points? And how do you win? How do you win the game? So you win by getting ten points. So every house oh. is a point. Every uh, huh. there's like, like a couple ways to get points. Sure, like yeah, yeah. you can get points for having the longest road. Like I said, uh-huh. you can get points for having the largest army. There's like the way you oh, gather an army. So okay, there's like gotcha, a couple gotcha. different ways to do it. Is there battle? Is there like dice or is it nope. all? Oh, no dice. So uh, you just take turns well, and yeah. I mean yeah. I mean th- th- there there is dice. There's d- oh. there's dice where it's like you know every round every person. Uh, so every tile is numbered. Yeah. So every round someone rolls a die and then wherever that number is. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone touching that number gets resources. Oh, so it's interesting. Like if okay. you roll a five, yeah, the five yeah, yeah, is yeah. a field. Anybody around the field gets wheat. Oh. And then so it just kind of... And then you use the wheat to do other stuff use with it. use the wheat to build other things. Oh, that's kind of so neat. It's really, yeah. it's really fun. But what I love about it is it's huh. very social. So you get six friends together. You have yeah. dinner. You have wine, whatever. You guys are all hanging out. Yeah, yeah. And then there's trading. So... You get to this thing where it's just like, you're like, fuck, I need to build a town, I need wheat. And you're like, hey, uh, I've got some lumber, who'll trade it for wheat? And huh. then people are like, how about two lumbers? You know, and they, oh, they, you yeah, start kind of passing things. But then you get these weird things where it's just like, there's huh. this thing called the, the, the thief. And yeah. some, some rounds you get to put the thief on different people, so you can fuck people over by putting the thief oh. on their thing. So, But then the next time comes around, you're like, hey, I got wheat. And like, like hey, oh, I'm not giving you yeah, freaking wheat. You freaking sh- Yeah. Exactly. So, so you actually have to think <laughs> nice. about fucking people over, because you're oh, like, yeah. I could put it there, but if I make him angry, he's a vindictive person. He yeah. won't give me sheep for this wheat. <laughs> and it's just, it's really fun. So it's like, it's about Neat. knowing who your friends yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of make alliances, and you can kind yep. of do different things. So this actually sounds like it'd be really good with Xbox Live. It could be. It um, could be really Really fun. It could be. Um, it could be that pe- people get regular games together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I really enjoyed playing with that guy. I'm gonna yeah. play with him again. Dude, that actually sounds really good. It's like I would love to see more board games like this, like more complicated. But I don't want to see Life or Monopoly exactly. or any of these crappy or like Scrabble. Yeah. You know, I want to say like thinking games, and this sounds like it's a, it's a nice new direction for Xbox Live. It is. Live. It's a great direction. I'm very proud huh. of them for doing that. Uh, so I think um, we, this is definitely a game we should give the trial, make sure that you know it's kind of look good. But if we buy it, we should try to get a bunch of people together. Absolutely. Um, because like you know, everybody does Uno and stuff like Strip Uno. We're not gonna do that. But you got Strip Uno and like Uno. I might. And, <laughs> with our zero female listeners. I was, I was gonna say I'll do it involuntarily. People are just like Uno, I'm like cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> You more like vindictive. <laughs> it would just be that. It would just be goat C on yeah. the camera. <laughs> just yeah. print it out and hold it up. 
Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we should definitely give it a try because yeah. I think we we really need these sorts of things. And um, I, if they have this, I want to see other games. Like some of my favorite board games are. Um, uh, do you ever play Cosmic Encounter? I've heard about it. That one's really it. that one and Illuminati are my two of my favorite board games. I like to see, and it has a lot of that di- actually diplomacy too. Oh, okay. It's another one, but all those have like diplomacy and, and fucking each other over yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So if they do that more, and like, you ever play the Hacker board game? Yeah, by Steve Jackson. That's good. That's a good. I one. got both of those at home. Hacker yeah. and Hackers Hacker too. Oh, yep. you gotta play that, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that it looks good, and that's Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah, so we will download that. Is that Wednesday? What's tomorrow? It's tomorrow, right yeah. on. Right on, right on. Because <laughs> uh, there ain't jack to play. No, there really is not much. So, no. Heat Seeker. Heat Seeker what is, is a new game on the Wii. And uh, from my understanding, it is just like Afterburner. What's Afterburner? Afterburner is the uh, the jet fighting game. You look at it from the back. and like you Top sh- Gun from the NES? Uh, kind of. It's the same sort of sort of thing. But you never played Afterburner? No. Uh. It was like in the arcades, and like the thing shook, the whole you know whole thing shook. You were going all over the place. I remember that. Holy crap, dude! Maybe I did. But uh, anyhow, so it's 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 a pretty good game. I mean, it looks Afterburner was a good game. This game looks really bad. Really? Because it's the Wii, so I don't so know how you're controlling of, it. Uh, and, yeah, I don't want. I don't know that much about it, but I, this is definitely one that I will rent and try it out because there's nothing coming out on the Wii. I mean, yeah. Super Mario, Paper Mario is like the main thing. There's some other game called Legend of the Dragon. I have no clue. That's also Legend coming out this week. Legend of the Dragon. Yeah, right. I might give that. Oh, we'll well, give I'll it a try. I'll pop by. I'll pop by. Uh, <laughs> You know, Blockbuster and see what they got. Yeah, but I'm not too excited. So that's okay. Wii. So Spider-Man Three. Hey, what, hey, what consoles is that coming out on? Um, everything, mm. and then a uh, Game Boy. I think mm. it's coming out on Abacus. Yep. Um, Ti ninety nine. Adam. Yeah. Ti eighty two. Apple two e. <laughs> so this is another whore baggery. Oh yeah. It's another uh, <laughs> you know Spider Man three. Apparently the budget for the film is just astronomical. Oh, they're saying it's they're like water make, world dude, numbers. They're going to make so much money off of it though. It doesn't really matter. So I gotta say I'm kind of tired of Spider Man. Like yeah, same here. I kind of enjoyed the first movie, and mm-hmm. then the second one, like halfway through the movie, I decided I was done with him. Yep. It was just like okay, I just, I, I've lost it's like, it. It's yeah. not because <laughs> it's it's not really that cool. That's the thing. Is like you go back and watch the old Batman things. Like huh. Batman was kind of cool. Batman was cool. The first two were yeah, cool. But I mean, like, but yeah, the yeah. new one, like oh, Batman the new Returns. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely. like, they got yeah. some cool to it. It's like, Spider-Man I'm watching is like, he's kind of a whiny little shit. Yeah. And the, all the all of his enemies are whiny little shits. And it's Pretty just, much. They all have, like, they're too dark and they have some yeah. character flaws. I'm so mad at like, you. Yeah. I'm kind of done with Spider-Man. So, I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll try the game on 360, maybe. Um, I'll, I'll probably see if they got it at Blockbuster. I'm going to try to get it just for the achievement points. Did you actually read much about what the game is about? I actually didn't no, look into it No, you know, the much. thing is, like, I played Spider-Man 1. Because they could have some cool physics with swinging. So, here's the deal. Like, I played Spider-Man 1 way back in the day. I think it was on PlayStation 2, and okay. it was garbage. It's really? so, I mean, you'd be, like, going, and you'd be, like, in the air, or not even touch the building. You'd be swinging. You'd be swinging around. And, like, you see so a you bad guy. You wouldn't have to, like, actually do the webbing to swing it, just kind of. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. It was okay. like, I played it at when I was at the, uh, the Sony launch party, and it was just like, okay, this game sucks. Yeah. Uh, from people on the forums are saying they love Spider Man 2. Oh, the okay. Game. The okay, game. I didn't try that. Um, so, Spider Man 3, who knows? It might be good, but generally speaking, one of the, one of the cardinal rules is that if a game appears on more than one, two, three consoles, <laughs> <laughs> more than eight consoles, yeah, more than eight consoles, it's going to be crap. Yeah. Because so, it can't this stuff based on a movie where you just can't go oh, wrong yeah, with that, right? I, I, mean, well, you, I mean, you always go wrong with that. <laughs> More like always, <laughs> always. So uh, we are not excited, but um, I think Tobin will be an achievement point whore as always, and get the play it for the points. Did I even play that Meet the Robinsons game, dude? We didn't even talk about it, did we? That's, it's not worth talking <laughs> about. I didn't. I seriously like. <laughs> I re- get out of not it? many. Really, it was not, that bad. Oh, it was that oh, bad. Like I was, bad. I was playing it, and I tried to play it for a little while. I'm like, yeah, point whoring. It's like, oh, <laughs> what the. F- not even worth the thousand uh, points. It was bad. Um, Whoa. So fuck it. So anyway, so moving on. Uh, yeah, last, you, last setup. So um, so one of the things that we get a lot of complaints about is that why don't we talk about virtual console games on the Wii? Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the main reasons is because they're all garbage for the most part. Yeah. And I mean, occasionally they have good stuff, but really... A lot of them are straight up emulation, too, so... All, all of them, pretty much, right? right? You, can, you can't play on it uh, yeah. emula- emulated. But I mean, um, it's, it's really not all that different than just downloading an emulator. I mean, honest to God, most of these games are pretty freely and easily available. Yeah, and, like, you can get the same experience, and, like, I don't really know what playing it on the Wii really gets me. Right, so Um, I bought... I think we talked about this before, but I bought Super Mario Bros. on the Wii because my girlfriend wanted to play it, and she loves it. Mm -hmm. So we're not really the target audience because there's people who have nostalgia for these games. They just want it to be really available. It's it's, it's really fun to play Mm -hmm. because you just turn the Wiimote sideways, and you've got the X-pad and the buttons. That's all you need. It's wireless. You can yep. just kick back on the couch, play some Mario. You know, these are 
it's good. It's sure. it's cool. And you know, but I'm like, I look at these and I'm like, well, I have Super Paper Mario. I have Super Mario Brothers. What game am I gonna play? Exactly. You know, I mean, it's it's kind of like an easy contest. And what I've been waiting for to actually spend Wii points on is just one game and one game only. So Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, I want that game right. on the SNES so that I can play it with somebody's over or do something. You, you know just play I mean? Monster Madness. No. <laughs> Game is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play, uh, is Castlevania two out? Uh, no, I don't actually. That I don't was know. the greatest Castlevania game ever. So let's go through the three. Uh, they usually release three to four games a week, and this week's game is Castlevania, the original. Castlevania um, one. Good music, but um, I think Castlevania two was it Simon's Quest. Yeah, or was that four? I don't know. But uh, Castlevania Simon's Quest was my my favorite of the old ones. Uh, the four was really good too. Uh, that's from the NES. The SNES game is Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Um, no, Never nothing about that. it. <laughs> it's eight hundred eight eight bucks, I think, or six. And then Shock Man on the Turbo Graphics sixteen. What is that? I, I never had Turbo Graphics. Yeah, you know, we should probably do a little more research before we do this. Yeah. Stuff. Hey, these are the games that are coming out. If you guys well, know I mean, about if you're them, excited, yeah. yeah. So I mean, check yeah. it out: Le- Legend of Mystical Ninja, Shock Man. Did you play any Turbo Graphics games? I didn't have one. I knew a friend I didn't that have had... any buddies that had one. Nobody had one. I had a friend that had the uh, the Turbo Graphics sixteen, and all we would play on it is Bomberman. Interesting. Because you could play four players, and it was one of the few consoles with four ports. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, right. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Shoo. Ah, so, oh, that okay, it. that's it. So, community section. Mm-hmm. So, we got some stuff going on here. We got, uh, so here for the chips is mm-hmm. uh, a, a uh, user, uh, yeah. a noob tube army member. A noob tube army member. So, he created a new yeah. wiki category called Two Thumbs Up for all yeah. of our recommended games. Which and is these are the ones, I think the rules are, it's like we either both gave it a thumbs up, or if only one of us played it, they give them a thumbs up. Yeah. So it's not really two thumbs up, it's recommended by NoobTube when the other person didn't play. Yeah. yeah. So we took a look at this and we need to have it edited a little bit. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> I think that maybe we haven't been clear enough in some of our game reviews, so we need to be more yeah. clear where it's just like thumbs up or thumbs down, yeah. like straight up, because a lot of mm-hmm. these games, I think, we played them, we're like, I guess it's okay, and then they people, said, thumbs up! people went like, in the no, wiki no, no, no. and it was like, thumbs up, and it's just like, <laughs> we want, we want, if you go to the two thumbs yes. up page, we want it to be games that you and I said buy this, we, we we put our name on it. We're just like, yeah. you know, we say that this is a good game, we promise you it's a good game if yep. you go and play it. And there's a lot of games on here that I don't think we think that that's true of, where like, for example, Sam and Max Episode 1, mm-hmm. I hated that game. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's marked as a thumbs up for you, it's which is a little weird. Thumbs, I think that's a mistake. I there's, need to go edit, edit There's also the Advent Rising, which I didn't, I think you kind of gave a conditional no, no, thumbs up. No, no, I like up. that. I like oh, that but you recommended it for everybody? Yeah. Okay, so that's I recommend that. that. But those, um, those yeah, definitely there's like Children of Mana. I, I think we may have said it was okay compared to like Contact, some of the other games yeah, we played. Yeah, but Ratchet and Clank Size Matters? Yeah. I said that sucked, man. PSP fucking yeah. so controls in that. Uh, so we'll fix it, but generally speaking, once we clean this up, it's going to be a place for everybody to go. If you're so bored. That, well, not if you're bored. I mean, well, yeah, if you're bored and you need a game to play, but you can go there and say, if I play one game on any of this list, it's going to probably be a good game. Yeah. Because we we're pretty stingy with the thumbs up, yeah. I, would, I would like to think. We, we say most games below. For the most part. Because yeah. most games below. <laughs> exactly. So uh, definitely go check it out. You can go to the categories page, and I believe it's on the front page of the week. Yep. And thanks here for the chips. Uh, we rock. really appreciate when you guys just chip in and, you know, some awesome action on the uh, wiki. Oh, yeah. So we're going to give you some newbies. Yeah. How many do you think? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure out. All right. It's a few. Not too many. We'll give you a couple newbies. So right yeah, on. rock on. So uh, the other thing we want to mention is that we do have an IRC channel. So I'm not sure how many people of you guys know about it. But if you go to the um, any of the pages, the forum or the uh, the main page, there's a little tab that says IRC. You open it up, and it gives you a Java client that hooks into our server that has like always at least four or five people in it. Always. Um, so, I mean, some of the regulars right now are Kellen A, uh, DMP Boy, Graphic is usually in there. There's a few others that you know are there occasionally. Um, yeah. We got like a crew, dude. They're always there. Yeah, it's so like, cool. I'm there. I'm like, right. I was like, hello, anybody yeah. there? And it's like, I think they're just like, they're just, you know, chilling or whatever. But yeah. um, go there because what we do is we go there, read the forums, and open up another window. And we'll go and we'll chat with people. We'll yep. shoot the shit, make fun of people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so every night, every night around midnight, my time around there, I yeah. try and I try and go and read the forum. So I'll pop in, and I always pop open that tab, and it's just like exactly. it's really fun because you know people will be talking in there, and they'll be like passing around links to each other. And oh, you yeah, can it's kinda, like YouTube links all the time, yeah. you know, random stuff, and it's a pretty good, a pretty good. You know, people aren't too like being assholes and kicking each other or anything like that. Let's, hopefully, we'll stay that way. They um, can't. Although, yeah. <laughs> Although I think if you're a PS3 fanboy, um, you get treated a little poorly. There. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> so yeah, it's great. But it's really cool that this is kind of turning into a secondary community out there. Yeah. Um, you know, I know that I know that a lot of you guys wanted to get like a voice chat room going, and maybe it's just not not my generation, but I don't like that. Hmm. Like I I'll don't do wanna... it if I'm playing a game. 
Oh yeah, playing a game. Definitely. I'm just saying that like a lot of people were just like, yeah, we should get a Skype room where we can talk to each other. It's like I don't really want that. Like I want something where I can be reading the forums and pop mm-hmm. over to text room at the same time. So you know what I would. But if you guys like that, go ahead and start one up. Yeah, but I mean somebody's just got to you know just say, hey, I'm going to start it up. Here's the info, and then we'll we'll you know do something about it. I'm a big uh, text guy. Yeah, but I, what I really want is like a TeamSpeak server with a bunch of channels. That's like the NoobTube TeamSpeak server. So anytime anybody plays together and any sort of thing, yeah. they always have a way to to go somewhere and then speak and then speak to each other. That's cool. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Absolutely. Um, we just need somebody with a with a fat uh, account. Yeah, if you got like a server set up that you do dedicated TeamSpeak servers, or if you are living in a dorm in a university mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with a nice uh, ten megabit connection, that would be awesome. Yeah, it's so, the nice thing about having a lot of uh, university age noob tube army mm-hmm. members. You guys don't know how good you have it until you get out in the real world. You and I, <laughs> oh, when God. you're in college, oh man, you get this fat always on pipe of like yeah, 10, ten to one hundred megabits. megabits. And oh. you know you can run you can run Teamspeak servers off there. You can yeah. run Counter Strike servers. You Quake can run servers, other stuff. Anything. You will never have it so good. No. As long as you live as being in a university with those fat fat. Well, pipes. dude, I think like now with Comcast, I'm about getting kind of close to what I used to have oh, yeah. uh, in the dorms. But you know, you know, the dorms right now have probably like fiber to every single. I bet back room. at CMU, they're they're running oh, hundred megabits in rooms easily. No, I'm saying like actual data to the outside hundred megabits. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, oh, like, easily. Oh. Have, dude, do they have internet too? Do they? I'm sure. Nice. <laughs> I have internet three. Oh well, I have internet four, bitch. Mm. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got some voicemails. Um, I'm actually kind of low on voicemails, so please give us a call. Let me just give out the number real quick: eight 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 two three three eight four eight zero. Give us a call. Leave us voicemail, or you sound just like this. Yes. Uh, I think the first up is Fat Geek with a PH. And um, yep, here we go. <laughs> hey, new to this is Fat Geek from the forums. I start with the PH. Um, so I was continuing my twin brother, who's about to go in the GameStop and purchase Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for them to know the years. And then I was, and he, he's also going to buy the strategy guide. And then, long story short, um, why well, spend 30, 40 bucks on a strategy guide that tells you what to do when you can just go to GameFAQ and get it done for free? Why not? So, my question is, what, what are your views on strategy guides? Do you buy them? So, um, yeah, I love the show, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um... Thanks a lot, Fat Geek. Thanks a lot. Strategy guides. So strategy guides are a lot more... Well, I wouldn't say they're a lot more in-depth. They've got a lot more media. So mm. right now, if you get walkthroughs, you'll go and find text walkthroughs on... And they'll be like half-finished a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, they'll be like You can't really navigate very well. Yeah. So generally speaking, I don't buy strategy guides. Never. Um, I, I rarely do. Now, there's a couple of cases where I did. I think when World of Warcraft came out, okay, yeah. I bought the strategy guide, and that was really useful. Yeah. Amazing, because otherwise you'd have to go to a bunch of different databases. When we're talking about a game like on the level of an MMO, right. uh, a strategy guide makes sense. If you're talking about a game like Super Paper Mario, Game Facts... If you're if you're like if yeah. you're a Squeenix fan and you're just like obsessive compulsive, yeah. Final Fantasy makes some really mm-hmm. they make some really really good strategy guides for games. I mean, Definitely. like that's a game you're going to be playing if you're if you're really hardcore. You're going to be playing this for a hundred hours, right? At least, yeah. So there's side quests that you might miss if you're a completist yeah. and you want to mm-hmm. catch some cool stuff. If you always want to know like different weapons and how they relate to each other, how to get yeah. different materia. When you're talking about there's a lot of, a lot of details which are, isn't really covered in a in a fact yeah. very well. Then a strategy guide makes sense. I wouldn't pay for it. No. Generally speaking. Unless it's like an MMO. Personally. So back in the day when I was very young, um, I would always get Nintendo Power and I would read <laughs> up on games and I would and I would do this. But well, that was before Game Facts. Did we have, was, didn't have internet? No, no. But, I, but I'm saying I don't. I'm not like that anymore. I used to mm. like to research the hell out of a game. Then I'd be like, oh, you know, I, I I took the path to the left instead of the path to the right, and I go back and I do this other yeah. subplot. And now. I like to explore. Like mm. I don't want. Like if I'm if I'm looking at game facts now, I'll get to a point and I try it and I try it and I try it and I get stuck and I go and I read the one sentence that yes. I need to unlock myself and I shut it again and I don't do it. That's exactly. And that's it, exactly yeah. like that was one of the things that actually turned me off to EverQuest when I was hmm. playing EverQuest was I got to this point where I was cheating all the time. I had another window open. Oh yeah, with yeah, those, yeah. With those, like here's the quest and exactly who you talk yeah. to, what you do, and all that stuff. And yeah, it's yeah. just like here's all the recipes when you want to do crafting, and yep. here's all the people you need to talk to, and here's all the steps in the quest yeah, and yeah. I realized that at that point I'm following a recipe yeah. so what what's the point of me playing the game you just like no exploration yeah, 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 yeah why am sense. I playing so mm. I think that there's a big danger in a lot of these things where so many people are out there writing everything down for you that at that point you're not playing a game mm. you're just following a bunch of instructions to go through a game yeah I can totally understand about that I mean what I found with a lot of strategy guys is they tend to ruin the game for you exactly so they you know because I mean some of the parts are like okay here's the different story of the plot here's the different things you gotta do here's some side quests and like I don't know about you I'm sure you, you're the same way but when you like find something or you stumble upon something it's like 
oh, that's kind of neat. It's awesome. You know, and, and like when you say especially when, side quests. Oh yeah, exactly. But then when you read, go talk to this guy and start this side quest to get this item, and exactly. I'm like, I want that item. Exactly. It's just like uh, kind of takes you've read it. it. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. once you've read it, you can't unread it. That's what kills mm-hmm. me. It's like I'll accidentally see something on the screen. They're like, "Don't forget to open this box to get this item that you can talk to somebody about yep. later." I'm like, "Fuck!" Now I know about that. <laughs> when I go down there, I'm going to be looking for that box, and it's exactly. just exactly. Uh, I mean, so there's a couple of cases where I would look at a like if I'm trying to like get a bunch of achievement points and I'm like so pissed off, right? Like there's like two you know little birds they have to find in darkened yeah. corners. It's like okay, at those points it's like okay, I just want the points. Like I want to get there and like I can't find this one left. Yep. Like then it kind of makes sense because you're kind of stuck. It's the last few bits. I'm a Super Paper Mario. I'm stuck at a particular point. Like and I've spent 15 minutes trying different things. Like hey, I want to continue with the game. Then I'll look. Yeah. Then I'll look and I'll and I'll stop. Yep. But um, for the most part, I would say. But I mean, actually bo- going and spending 20 to 30 dollars. So I'll actually I've actually gotten to the point now where I purposely don't look at the achievement list in games. Really. I actually try and play for a couple hours before looking at the achievement list because I don't want to play towards achievements. Interesting. I want, I want to feel the game, <laughs> and then you know, then I'll go back and I'll look at the list, and I'll go well, back and I'll try and play yeah, for yeah. stuff. But but I found that I was doing the same thing, where it was just like you know, they would say, do these five mechanical things, you know, kill yeah. four blue guys, and I'd be yeah. like looking for blue guys, and I'd be missing the world, I'd be missing the fun. Yeah, that makes and, sense. And I've been trying lately, where I'm just like. I don't want to know the achievements, and then when you yeah. get one, you're like, "Oh, it's like what I what I get, what I get." Oh, right? I got yeah, an achievement. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I've, I've been trying to just They're achievements. God damn. Uh, I probably just said it 18 times. But I'm drinking once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So maybe it's just because I'm getting older or something. But I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually trying to get more magic back into games because mm. I've been, I, I you've lost it. I've lost it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes I mean. Sense. I want to. I want to know little. I want to explore it the way it's supposed to be. Well, explored. I feel the same way about games as I do about movies or TV shows. Like anytime, like if it's already been a few days, like like I don't like right now. I don't want to hear what happened about heroes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, gotcha. it, it happened. I'm gonna watch it tonight. But if somebody tells me, I'm gonna be so freaking pissed Absolutely. off. Absolutely. Right. And it's like games, movies, everything. It's just like th- some, something about the. Isn't sense that crazy? The Asian kid died. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Cocksucker! Sorry. Um, <laughs> that'd be, wouldn't that be shitty if it actually happened? I, mean, see, I don't even want to know if, like, it could... You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like, ooh, does it really happen? Oh, you know what I mean? It just it pisses me off. And yeah. the, because that's the thing. When you actually see this new thing, you're like, oh. You know, it, it, I don't know, but it some, does something in the brain. You know, it's like, that's oh, what I really play neat. for. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I play for is the moments of, you know, ex- ex- discovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, and, I, you know, I think um, with, with a lot of these things, uh, I... I I can see why you'd really want strategy, guys. Yeah. I can see the reason because games are fucking hard. Yeah, they're, and they're really getting harder. Hard and and like to actually figure out stuff and to do everything. And people don't have the patience. People don't have the time. Yeah. and I don't even have the time a lot of times to actually spend three hours trying to get past a certain point. So yep. it's like you know it kind of makes sense. So uh, that would be that for that. That we is got, that. Uh, next up is Super Shredhead. Super Shredhead. Hmm. Hey Noob Tube, it's Super Shredhead from the forums. I was just wondering if you've tried the new Gears of War game Annex and if what you thought about it. Thanks. Bye. Oh, short and sweet. Yeah, I like it. Uh, short and sweet, and about Annex, something we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Didn't we say? <laughs> didn't we like talk about it? And we're like, we should go try that. Yeah, we should. Did you? No. No. <laughs> Neither did I. We should. Um, we should. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, on the boards right now, uh, I don't know, it's like, there's an Iron Gamer Challenge for Gears of War Annex mode, yeah. which has been, like, it was tried two weeks ago on Sunday, and I don't think anybody showed up, or a few people showed up. It was tried again on Saturday, I couldn't make it, and, like, people have been trying to get a bunch of people together to do a tournament to do it, and I've been wanting to go, but I just haven't I even got called it. out. I think it's, uh, it was really? one of our, uh, I think it was maybe Raven Nightstorm. Yeah. Um, she was calling me out. She's just like, she's like, yeah, we're gonna be playing some annex. You gotta get your bitch ass in there, blah blah. It's like, shit, I just got called out by yeah, a woman. You like, better I need go to do it. I need to go do it. So <laughs> I haven't put my Grizzle War disc in my. I, know, I need to like go back and. Time. But I do want to try it. I mean, apparently they they added some. We talked about it last time. Yeah, they, we they talked added about some it. Cool yeah, stuff. I'll get to it. Yeah. Sometime. <laughs> well, we don't have much to play this week, so. Uh, yeah. So I might give it a try. Well, I'm will... doing some Diablo probably. But, yeah, uh, we'll talk about that. So, sure, um, thanks a lot for the voicemails. Give us a call. Make sure and. Uh, yeah. So we yeah. haven't tried it, but uh, what did you think about it? I don't, what, Super yeah. Shredhead. I don't, uh, I'll have to check the forums and see if you've reviewed it. But if you like it, let us know. Yeah. Wow. Sure. We got some listener homework. Yes. Uh, it's not exactly cheating, but uh, like, how often do you use facts? How often, you know that, that kind of question is what I wanted to do. So, um, yeah. listener homework this week. 
we're calling it how often you cheat at games, but I mean, we're calling cheating basically anything other than playing the game. Yeah. Getting information outside of exactly. the game. Exactly. That's exactly. cheating. Um, so, I mean, like, because we want to know. It's like, we, we, we've gotten to a point now where we really want to keep the sense of wonder. We want to avoid cheating as much as possible. And not, like, turning on cheats or even, like, real cheating, like, um, you know, going in Counter-Strike and doing wall hacks. Uh, that's kind just of stuff. fucking lame. Yeah, see, that's just, like, kind of lame. Like, all that kind of stuff is just, like, it, if it takes away from the game, we don't want to do it. Dude, I remember back in the day... I'm going to say this like 50 times today for some reason, but <laughs> I took a piece of graph paper and I charted out every square inch of Wolfenstein to find every, you know, because oh. you get to the end of the level and it'd be like, you found 97% of the you, secret stuff. I'm like, mother how fucker. Did, how did you do that? Because it was like, it wasn't like, you know, move one block, move one block, move one block. I, I drew the world's like, how did you get the scale right? I'm a nerd. <laughs> I'm very anal and it's blocking. Oh yeah. Do, well, I did the exact same thing. Do you remember the old gold box, uh, Dungeons and Dragons games? Pool no. of Radiance. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. All those, and those were where you were going. You'd like move a step. I would like draw lines on graph paper walls because basically every single map you could get to every single square. Mm. Like you know what I mean? If like, I can go inside and things like yeah. that. And, like I have like books of graph paper of nice. every single zone. So we're both losers. Hell and yeah! The fact that we've got girlfriends is absolutely unfathomable. No, we don't do that anymore. So <laughs> auto map for the not, win. Not while she's awake. Not while she's awake. <laughs> Um, oh yes, Retro Gaming Club Diablo Two. Talk Hell about this, yeah, dude. So like, I did some. Dude, I bought the game. I put up a picture of me with my face. Like, hey, yeah, yeah. Check the it. forums is an awesome <laughs> shot of user like. Ah! <laughs> we need more people to post pictures of themselves doing like it's random shit stuff. like that. It is really good. Uh, so we got Diablo Two Battle Chest. So it comes with Diablo Diablo Two as well as Diablo Two Lord of Destruction. You have Diablo Two Normal. You yeah. don't have Lord of Destruction. But we're all getting together. And we're playing freaking games. We're playing yeah. Diablo. It's so, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. So, and and people have actually been coordinating this on the IRC channel, which mm-hmm. is really helpful. So, if you hop oh, yeah. on there, there's been a, p- a bunch of people uh, on there that'll hop on, play some Diablo two action. And so, sure. what have you been thinking, man? So it's been awesome. So, I was in there. I was just like, hey, blah blah blah. And people were talking about Diablo. I was like, hmm, I'll go install it. I went and installed it. And Kellen says, hey, let's go play. And I'm like, all right, cool. He changed his name to Kellen A underscore D two. Nice. Right? And then uh, we went. We played for like two hours. It was That's awesome. Cool. You know, like the thing is, like I think he's played the game through like five times. No shit. Because I was like, you know, reading all the text, <laughs> <laughs> picking up every single potion. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, and I'm like, I gotta go to sell. And he's like, what? Because <laughs> he's just he's like killing things and running by. I'm like, dude, you left some gold over here. <laughs> Like it's, like, it's only blue. Like, I only want blue. I only want purple. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't see a purple, but... Nah. Uh, yeah, so, um, Diablo 2, I think... I would um, love it if we could get, like, an eight-person game going. That would be the oh, hottest thing. we should schedule something. We should try and schedule something. Yeah, maybe something. this weekend. Because we had a... I think that there was actually a four-person game. Kellena and some oh, other yeah? people, they got four people at once on oh, the IRC nice. channel playing. So, um... The, the only problem is, is the people that don't have the expansion, they have to play regular, but, mm, you know, like, yeah, whatever, yeah. you can coordinate it, you can make it work, yeah, yeah. so no, we'll, we'll hop some, on IRC How about this? This weekend, we will try to meet up for at least an hour or two, we'll play a non-expansion game so Tobin's sorry ass can play, and we'll all start out with level one characters and just wreck some shit. Yeah, so let's start yeah, out around, like, good. maybe, you know, uh, in the late evening on, uh, like, Saturday night or something. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Be there or be square. Yep, hop on IRC. Be cool. All right, man, I think that might be it. We're actually, like... Ten minutes early. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow, dude. Um, yeah. Yes. All so. right. So <laughs> <laughs> go. That is our show for the week. Please check out our website at NewTube. That's n w o b t w o b dot com. And uh, please visit our forums by clicking the forums tab on top and join in the fun. Also call our voicemail at 888-233-8480. And uh, or if you are overseas, please send the audio or video feed to feedback at nuketube.com and be featured on the show. Yeah, so you know what? Blow more shit up and send us videos. That was awesome. And don't do it because we said so and don't sue us if you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't blow stuff up if you're dumb, but if you're competent and, you know, whatever. And you have safety goggles. Yeah, safety goggles and... <laughs> oh, God, whatever. So More videos. Send us cool stuff. We love when you guys send us in videos. We had a couple cool videos so far. Send us in fun voicemails, whatever. Oh, anything yeah. anything fun, send it in. We'll probably play it. Um, so be sure to subscribe to our audio and video podcast in iTunes right off the front page. we got links all over the place for subscribing. we got subscribers piling up it's awesome like awesome. we check you check in you know like the the audio feeds getting big the video feeds getting, getting up there big. Is jumping up dude youtube is like climbing every day it's yeah. it's awesome um and if you're watching the video on youtube there's a subscription button right ha <laughs> also write rate the video with five stars in my junk 
Five stars. Click it, click, click, click it, click, click every it time, five times. Every time we uh, we uh, post a video, it's hilarious. Like, we've been getting, <laughs> like, last time I think we made the front page. We didn't, no, we totally made We made, like, number five. Nice. Top five. So we top love three. it, you guys. You guys have been doing a great job. It's like, we've been Hell releasing these yeah. videos, and when you guys rate them five stars, and when you comment on them, boom, we get these honors where we go to the front page in the mm -hmm. gaming section where people are like most commented, most, you know, rated, whatever. So it's been awesome. You guys, every week you've been doing better. Uh, it takes one second to do it and we love it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we also have a MySpace profile of NoobTube, spelled just like the website. Add us as friends. We will add you back. So that is all for this episode. I am Tobin Kozire. And I am Yuzo Watanabe. Audio engineering is done by Range Doomfinger Strunk. Doomfinger. <laughs> you didn't die, dude. <laughs> oh. All right, thanks a lot uh, for listening, and we will see you next week. We're out. See ya. <laughs> oh boy. We are ready. Eat, 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 eat. eat. Oh, I'm a good